everybody, and uh, welcome back to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and we're here for another Blu-ray Hunter reviews. This time, it was a friend of mine sent me, Isleen Pines. Um, she can see from the background uh, there. That is a film that was written, directed by uh, Matthew Fessel, and um, I am going. I am so sorry, Alexis. Um, I'm gonna probably screw up your name. So, uh, get ready. It's uh. I mean, I guess it's Alexis Paonessa. Paonessa. I. Oh, sorry. I'm really bad at names. Um, I, if I know it, I know it. Like if I hear somebody say it, I can, I can get it. But, uh, sorry. Um, anyway. Um, Alexis and uh Matthew, wrote and directed this film. It's about a bunch of. It's about this town of Islene Pines that has a uh i guess this annual celebration for um what is it um like a costume contest for halloween run by this guy who's just like a hobo clown kind of thing character um and uh everybody doesn't have like real names like they're the witch or the vampire or the uh clown or whatever whatever costume that they are they're kind of named after that and uh so the witch the the zombie and the vampire are all like these friends they meet up with the ghost and they the all of a sudden they're kind of brought into this like crazy uh was it uh alien life form that that emerges and starts to wreak havoc in the town and um glenn Plummer's in the movie and man does he steal the <laughs> steal the movie there's some really great scenes with them uh in it where he's like a neighbor who uh you know he's at one point this old older gentleman trick-or-treats at his house and he's just like dude, I don't want to talk to you. So the whole time he's just pretty much like blowing the guy off. And it's probably one of the best scenes in the movie. Um, there's another really, uh, there's some really, really great scenes involving some of the, like some of the dialogue just seemed really, you know, funny. Um, I, I love the clown, you know, character just, he, he, uh, he's the host to the party except there's this guy saying he's the co-host and he's a the magician uh character like a you know costume and stuff and the guy's like charging five bucks to see the magician see him do magic uh there's some other stuff um all in all uh the special makeup effects was great uh i don't think there's any cgi if i'm correct um, it all seemed practical. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, I liked, uh, you know, I, I liked all the characters. You know, August Kiss is in this movie and, uh, very, very small role. She plays one of the costume people, but it was just wonderful to see all these, see all these people who I've seen in all these other movies come together with them and, uh, acting in it and, um, I had a, I had a fun time. It was cute. Like this is a, a this is a movie that should be watched like every fall, you know, for like Halloween. Uh, it is Halloween themed, you know. So if you're in the mood for a Halloween movie, this is definitely for you. Um, I I absolutely loved um just the direction that it went into, the way that it was set up. Uh, it it had a lot of fun like they were enjoying themselves everybody um it the 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 thing like the 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 monster the uh alien monster looked a lot like predator in a way to me like like a hillbilly predator maybe that <laughs> kind of thing and it looked kind of kind of funny uh but i i loved it like i thought it it was scary um not something I would have wanted to fuck with. Um, and I liked how uh, the witch, which is this cool girl in it, and 
the only the only thing I didn't like, I, I got a little confused by the ending, a little bit. Um, like, I, I like I wasn't sure if this was like a premonition or if it was like a, um, or if it was by some chance, like just all a dream. Um, not sure, but uh, yeah. Uh, it it, it confused me a little bit. The ending was a little bit confusing. But um, aside from that, you know, part and everything, um, like pretty much the end end where I guess it was the twist, but it still kind of confused me a little bit. Um, so I was like, all right, um, are we like, what's going on here? Um, but aside from that, like everything else, like straight up made me crack up. I was laughing at times when I'm supposed to laugh. Not like some some films you see these days, and you're laughing when you're not supposed to be laughing. <laughs> um, and uh, I think all the characters were a lot of fun. Um, I like I said, I love I love movies set in Halloween, so this was up my scary dark alley. But I just enjoyed it. I thought it was a very cute little film, and I really recommend it to anybody who's like, you know, wants to watch a ha Halloween film. Uh, horror film you know like a horror film set on halloween uh yeah it's, i mean it's an indie film so you know bear that in mind um but i think once you see it and you'll you'll see okay they they did they did a pretty damn good job and i'm looking forward to the next project that matthew and and whatnot and and crew um and I'm interested to see if uh, Matthew and Alexis work together again, if, the, if their next project will be something they um, combine forces on. So I really liked it. Um, I I definitely, I'm going to keep it. Um, so a lot of time on Blu-ray uh, Blu Hunter reviews, I tend to talk about the Blu-ray, because you know, kind of the point. Uh, it's got special features, like a storyboard cut, which I'm like, I have not seen, but that sounds interesting. Uh, clown outtakes. I'm sure there were a lot of that. That clown was cracking me up. Uh, premiere Q&A. 3KM, uh, so 3Key Media, his uh, company, uh, Matthew's company, uh, trailers. Uh, Boys of the Hill, music video, and more. So everybody did a great job. Um, there's a lot of producers on this film. There's a lot of you know, it's, I think it was, uh, if I'm correct, it was a crowdfunded film. So everybody uh, pitched in, helped out, and some people got some really great parts. So um, I'm looking, like I said, I'm looking forward to more stuff from these guys. Uh, aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, let me know what you guys thought of Isling Pines. Did you guys get a see, chance to see it? And what are your thoughts? All right. Talk to you later. Bye.